to use our enter id credentials that we use to log into azure and the similar credentials we can use to access the linux vm so let's dive into the pdf and understand how this all works so what are the prerequisites which we need for this authentication first and the foremost we need a linux azure vm and a system assigned managed identity enabled on the linux vm then we need to install an extension azure active directory ssh extension on the linux vm to enable the azure ad based authentication then we need a proper azure rpac role in the vm Administrator login provides a pseudo access to the VM and the user login role provides a normal user access. Next thing what we need is Azure CLI installed locally on our machine through which we are going to access the Linux VMs later on. We are going to go through all the steps together. So just stay tuned. Before proceeding with the practical, let's see the architecture, how the Azure AD based SSH authentication works. So in the architecture diagram, first the user connects to the Azure CLI installed locally on the machine. Then user enters the credentials. Then he is connected to the Azure AD. After that, he is successfully logged in. So when the user does the easy SSH command and runs on the Azure CLI, it takes the request from the CLI to the Azure AD and request a short-lived open SSH certificate. In return, Azure AD authenticates the user. And if everything is valid, Azure AD sends the open SSH certificate to the Azure CLI. Now the next step, Azure CLI connects with the OpenSSH client. Azure CLI client transfers the SSH certificate to the OpenSSH client and from there the certificate is transferred to the Linux VM. The VM checks the OpenSSH certificate validity and if everything is good then it accepts the connection and the SSH session is successfully made. Ok back now in the portal. We'll cover two scenarios first. We'll create a Linux VM and see how can we enable the enter ID SSH authentication beforehand while creating the VM. And next we'll install the extension and enable the identity on a already created Linux VM. So let's create a VM first and enable the authentication. Let's create a new resource group. SSH authentication. Let's give a name here enter id ssh open to server authentication type let's give a username and password we'll leave the ssh port open to log into the linux vm Next networking, let's have a public IP open, we will leave everything the same. Next management, so this is the part where we enable the Microsoft Android authentication. So you will see now when I enable this option, it automatically enables the system managed identity option because Android authentication requires the system assigned managed identity. Next, next and and create the VM. Okay, so we'll cover another scenario now. So I'll create another VM which does not have the authentication enabled and we'll enable it later on. We'll choose the let's choose the resource group AD test. So we will leave both option empty here. We are going to enable the authentication later on. I'll skip to the review and create. Okay, so our VM is created where we have enabled the enter ID authentication. So let's check the extension if it's already installed on the VM. All right, so we can see the extension installed. Next thing we need to check is the system assigned identity. So this is also enabled. All right, so everything we need on our VM is enabled. Now what we require is the at the resource group level we need to have a VM administrator login or a VM user login role assigned. Admin role can have a pseudo privileges on the Linux VM. User login is just a regular user inside the VM. So let's go to resource group and assign the permission. So let's search for login. So we can see the administrator login and the user login. 
both of these roles are important to access the Linux VM. Let's assign an administrator login. Alright, so we have the admin login now on the machine. Okay, so I'll go to this page. The next thing which we require is AZCLI installed locally on our machine. Any user who wants to access the VMs need to install the AZCLI dependent upon the operating system they are using. I'm using macOS, so I'm going to use this command to install the AZCLI. Let's wait until this is installed. While it's installing, let's go to this page. We need to install an extension on the Azure CLI, which is going to help us in taking the SSH session. So let's check if the AZCLI is installed. AZ version. Okay, so it's installed. So next thing what the user need to do if they are not able to take the SSH session, they need to check if they have this extension installed on the AZCLI. If not, they need to run this command. So in my case, it's installed. Okay, so now the commands which will help us in taking the SSH session. The first command which we need to run is AZ login. I'm using my account. Let's go back. So I'm going to see in which subscription I'm in. In case you have multiple subscription, you first need to change the context to a particular subscription where your Linux VM is. In my case, I'm at the subscription where my VM is. So I'll run the next command, which is azssh vm. azssh vm hyphen n meaning name. So I'll copy the name of my VM. and the resource group and let's press enter so it's going to take some time because of the first login so you can see I am inside the VM with just my enter ID credentials I didn't have to enter the VM credentials also based on my role the administrator login which I assigned to myself I can sudo to the machine so now I'm working as a root user now to test another scenario where the SSH authentication was not enabled for my VM I'll first go to the VM and see if the extension is installed so no extension is there I'll go to the overview page and I'll choose the name I'll first exit out of this one now let's see if we are able to access the VM So no access is there because it doesn't have the extension installed. So I'll go back. So in the VM, go to the extension, add Azure AD based SSH login. So meanwhile, it's installing. Let's go to the if machine has the required role for the user to log in. So it does have the admin login because the role was assigned at the resource group level. It's inheriting from there. Next thing which we need after the extension installation, we need to check the identity. So we'll enable the identity also. Let's wait until the extension and the identity is enabled. Alright, so the extension is installed and the identity is enabled. Let's go back to the terminal and check if we are able to access the Linux VM. source group okay so you can see I am inside the VM and I have access to the VM let's do a sudo and I was able to successfully switch to the root user one another command which we can use instead of typing down the name and the resource group we can use the AC SSH VM hyphen hyphen IP let's see if I'm able to access so I'm inside the VM so if you're in a corporate network you can just connect to the VPN first and then access your Linux VM by just using private IP all right so that's sum up for how can we authenticate to Linux VMs using Enter ID thank you for watching and stay tuned for next video